grab a cup of coffee, get yourself some boba, snacks, whatever you need. This is not going to be a short video. This may be the longest video I've ever made. That being said, I've made some pretty long videos. So just warning you, I am gonna talk about how I use all four of my planners. I've never done this before. I have never, I've never prepped for this kind of video, so I didn't really do any prep. But it's just gonna be chatty, casual, you know the drill. Okay, right now I am currently using four planners at one time. This is the most I've ever used and I am loving it because I use them all very independently and I will explain that to you as we go. So my first planner is a Pocket Rings. This is my on-the-go purse planner. I understand people love Pocket Rings because it's so small and so it can fit in most purses. And it does, it's very small and compact. Um, it is too small in my opinion for any sort of real planning for me. Like I can't write in this for everyday planner. I mean, I use a personal wide, so I just like having a lot of space, but this is essentially a glorified to-do list. I will go into more detail later, but this is the PVC pocket rings from Amazon. Just search PVC rings or PVC binder and pocket rings is the A7 size. Uh, her name is Suki right now, but I think I'm going to change it. She not giving me the Suki vibes no mo. This is my A6 rings from Pelly Studio. I love this planner. My first A6 rings, such a good size. If personal or personal wide is too big for you for your everyday planning, I highly recommend A6 rings. This is the shimmer pink with the rose gold spine and the lace scallop detail. I don't think shimmer pink is available anymore. You need to follow her Instagram. But yeah, this was a limited edition, but I love it. It's my first Pelly Studio. It's my first A6 rings. Her name is Colette. And then there's Elle. We all know Elle. Elle is my ride or die. Elle is my everything planner. She's huge right now because I just redid some stuff. And my insert's really fat, but I love Elle. Elle is my everyday everything planner. That I do not see changing anytime soon. And then last but not least, this is my A5 planner. This is also from Amazon. It is like holographic plastic vinyl. And uh, her name is Jess, and I use Jess as my study project planner. So those are my four planners. Let's start with Jess, because she's probably the simplest, and um, she's right here. So I do like this planner. I have it in a personal rings as well. I will say this, the rings are tiny. Like I'm already running out of space. They're so small. So obviously I could never use the personal as a real planner. I don't have the personal set up right now because I'm not sure what to do with it. These are just folders that I bought from Hobby Lobby. I forget the brand, but it's in the planner section. And I will say this, my inserts are all different because apparently there's a difference between A5 and half letter. And I have half letter inserts in here from Annie and I have A5 inserts that were like pre-cut and punched. So it's fine. This is not a pretty planner. This is a functional planner. That being said, the cover's pretty. This is pretty. My dividers are pretty. These were, um, I bought the actual strip of divider from Gen XO Plans and then I made the divider myself. This is obviously Vellum from NSFW. My shop with Allison. Okay, so the four tabs, is it four? Five tabs I have. Um, focus, which is kind of where I put intentions. Um, I have like, I have not filled this out clearly. Still figuring this out, but I wanna put goals here for every month and kind of track that. I have another folder um, and then I have a study tab. This is the one I've been using the most. I put notes on books that I read, on TED Talks. Um, I have a whole section devoted to the law of attraction because I'm really kind of studying that right now, to be honest. And so I have like tons of just notes in here. See, you can see the difference in page size. This is an A5 that was printed and pre-punched. I think these are the ones Allison brought back from Taiwan for me. And then these are Annie's, which are half letter, which are bigger. 
but it kind of bugs me, but like, I don't care. I kind of like how messy and haphazard this binder is because it's my study binder and the pages are different and it's just like messy. And I, I don't mind it because that's kind of the point of this. I mean, there's even different colors in here, but I actually use the colors for different things that I'm studying. So anyway, this card is from, it was Happy Mail from It's Me a Row. And then I have an Explore tab, which is where I have Annie's project inserts. This is for um, like bigger theme projects that I wanna explore and map out. I can't give you a good example right now because it's very personal, but when I can, I'll let you know. The last divider, oh no, this is just a top page marker that says Carolyn. And I put some band sticky post-its here. Uh, next tab is Get Hot, which is my fitness related stuff. So I have like, I was like looking into a new weightlifting program, so I have notes on that in here. Just whatever, intermittent fasting, just, you know, stuff like that. Fitness, getting hot. If I ever like change my hair or do something else, like makeup, it'll all go in there. And then the last tab is Dream, and this is for, these inserts are also from Hobby Lobby. I just thought they were perfect. Don't put your daydream under the Dream tab. And this will be for, yeah dreams like just i don't know how to get more specific right now but this is a very personal binder obviously i don't have a ton in here yet i just have another folder but i use it a lot because i'm doing a lot of study right now that's the bulk of what i'm using i do want to start adding my intentions and i actually do have quite a bit of stuff to write in exploring dream i just haven't yet but that's what jess is for Love it. This is an Ollie clip with nothing attached. But yeah, that's just, this is how I use my A5. People are always like, what do you mean a study binder? That's what I mean. Okay, we'll just go biggest to smallest. You know L. L is everything and I will do, I don't know, I debated whether or not I would do a flip because I did just redo some deco. I'll do a very, very, very quick flip. So L is what I use every day for planning everything. Um, I love her. I've been in a personal wide. I actually don't know how long, but I am obsessed. And you know, I have a whole video dedicated to the functionality of L, um, but I'll go quickly through it. I have like an inbox, whoops, sorry about that, inbox system. I have a list tab where I keep a variety of lists. I have a projects tab, which is where I put projects. This is different than the projects for A5 um, because these projects are more, I don't know. These are like when I moved, that was a project. Um, I'm thinking about possibly moving to Shopify. That'll be a project, just things like that. And then the A5 is kind of more for like bigger picture, amorphous, life, vision, dream type projects, if that makes any sense whatsoever, which I don't think it does. But that's how we roll. I have a year tab, which is obviously where my academic calendar is. Um, these, all this deco is from Powder World, and this is why I redid my planner, because I wanted to add her stuff, and I wanted to add Happy Scrappy's um, Boba Monthly Sub because I'm obsessed. This is from Glitzy Trooper. This Jen made me quote in here. So the next tab is daily and this is where my daily inserts are. I'm using the See Amy Draw Annie Trans collab right now. I'm loving them. Lots of fun flexibility. The next tab is wellness and this is where I keep everything to do with my mental health and my physical health. So I have a mind section I uh, have my Hilden crush collage. She's like my girl crush. I have my fitness section where I keep track of workouts and my lifting. And then I have a Carolyn section, which is just a catch-all. Right now, the only section within this section is my reference section, but I'm sure I'll add to it at some point. And that's it. That's the, very, this is the quickest flip I've ever done. Look how cute this is. This is from Studio L2E and it's a Harry Potter little pocket. Right now I just put this little bag in here because it fit perfectly and I like the way it looks, but yeah. 
I love all this stuff. Okay, so that's Elle. You know Elle. Every other video on this channel from the last few months is dedicated to Elle and how I use Elle and deco for Elle and, you know, Elle. I just love Elle. Okay. A6 Rings, Colette. This is strictly a business planner. So if you don't know, I make charms. XO Carolyn Designs. I also have a digital um, art shop with Allison called NSFW by CA. And this is where I track all the stuff for my shops. And I had so much fun setting up this planner. I just love it. I love the, I mean, look at how pretty. I love the colors. I love the size. Um, this is a Glitzy Trooper dashboard. Somebody actually sent me because we did a trade because, uh, oh, sorry. Her boyfriend ordered the wrong size for her. So yeah, so this is my business planner. So I can't go into a ton of detail within the sections, but I'll just kind of do a deco flip and then show you. This is another Glitzy Trooper dashboard. This is a mini business card that I had made for, um, what did I have it made for? Go Wild and some other stuff. Uh, they're so expensive. I can't, unfortunately, have them as my everyday business cards, but I do like them. Here is just, I put notes about stuff for the next orders. My Washa dashboard. <laughs> I love that. This is um, acetate from Catspresso. This is from Powder World as well. This is from Pigtails and Pockets. This is from Sparkly Paper Co. Okay, this is just all deco as you can see. I, I shoved all the deco in the front of this planner because once you get into the meat of it, it's quite boring. So the first section I have is calendar. I have a regular, just monthly, calendar. Let me flip to a blank page. That I put sale days and any major deadlines I need to be aware of for both shops. I just color code. It's happy scrappy. And then here is monthly review and I will start using this for, I'm not entirely sure yet to be honest. I was gonna put goals here, but that doesn't really necessarily make sense. I'm still thinking about this. This, by the way, was a freebie from See Amy Draw, and I love it. That's like one of my favorite quotes. So yeah, I have both of this style of calendar. Both are from Annie Plans, Obvi, Carolyn 25. Then I have a list tab, and this is just a bunch of list inserts for a variety of different lists. To-dos, just whatever I need. This is a book page marker from Janixo Plans that I punched and stuck in here. And then within lists, I also have a projects. Can you tell that I like this um, this insert? <laughs> I love the projects insert. Because it works so well for me when I move that I just, I clearly, I have it in like every single one of my planners. Um, and then the next section is, look at Davi. Um, the create section, Amanda and Rachel do not hate. They don't like Dobby. Like, how do you not like Dobby? And this is where I just put a lot of information about charms. Designs, just anything goes in here. And then this is a page marker from Type A for Alexa. I actually had this made ages ago for my A6 Lush Cosmos, but I just punched it and put it in here because it's basically the same size. It has a flap. And this is inventory. This is where I keep information about different charms and like how many I have and stuff. This is an Annie Plans insert with Sparkly Paper Co. Look at this boba paper. Alexa sent that to me. I'm obsessed. And then the next tab, you can't really see this, but it's $3 signs. Um, this is where all my financial information is. So I have an order tracker, bills, expenses and etc. This is my PR slash collab tab, which is exactly what it sounds like, <laughs> any PR um, and collab information. And I have this NSFW um, page marker that Jen made me that I also punched in here, kimchi, and I just stuck to divide out um, XO Carolyn Designs and NSFW by CA. And then the last tab is just Carolyn. It is a catch-all and it just has some blank page inserts. Whoops, I put that here to paperclip on there, which I didn't do. 
Oops. Look how cute this Starbucks cup is. It's a gift card, but it's from Singapore. Sam sent that to me and I just love it. And it fits in this pocket. These are also Glitzy Trooper. This is from Cat Espresso. So cute. Happy Scrappy. And then I just have an NSFW by CA section in the very back for any random, most of NSFW because it's digital does not involve a lot of planner stuff, but I have this in here for anything I need to reference or remember or whatnot. That's cute. This came in my Love Shira order yesterday. I love this quote. Um, this is Powder World. Sorry, I'm not going through all the deco. This is Fox and Pip. This is, I said this because I went crazy and bought two caboodles and I'm not kidding. I want like 10 more. They kind of take up a lot of space though. And uh, Amanda from Fox and Pip made that. Gen XO Plan, Powder World. Okay, so in the back, I have this little mini Manila folder, which Paper Source used to sell these in all their different colors. Like, you know how in the back they have all that cardstock and different shaped, like in all the colors? They used to carry these, but last time I looked, they didn't have them. I seriously got this maybe like 10, 15 years ago, because I'm that old. And I just had a couple left over and it fits perfectly in here. I put XO because this is where I put pictures of my charm designs. So it's kind of perfect fit for that. And then in the very back, I tucked in this A6 insert from Kiki K that I got in Happy Mail from Daisy. Um, and I just put some notes in here from friends and this is another from Cat Espresso. And I use this, this is kind of a, in theory, I can take it out with me on the go if I ever need that. It's kind of a brain dump book for my shops. This is from ugh, Banana Doodle Shop. Look how cute. This is a note from Hannah on the other side that I like to keep in there because it's very, very sweet and kind. Okay, I'm sorry I keep knocking the camera. If you guys could see how I'm sitting right now, it's like, a miracle that I haven't fallen over. Okay, so this is Colette. This is how I use Colette business planner, but I wanted to make my business planner really fun with lots of deco because I want to open it a lot and it's so fun. I mean, you can't have a princess planner and not decorate the crap out of it. This is from Banana Pickles Crafts. Okay, so that is Colette. Finally, oh my gosh, this video is not gonna be long at all. Oh, I'm very happy with myself. So this is Colette. I'm going to lift, not Colette, this is Suki. I'm gonna lift Suki because she's so small if I did this, like, yeah. So Suki I bought purely because I wanted, I just thought the clear planner was so stinking cute. And so I bought it. And then I was like, what are you gonna do with the pocket rings, Carolyn? And I was like, you know what? It's just gonna be a glorified to-do list. Like I'm just gonna deco it and yeah. So that's essentially what I did. And it does go in my purse with me most of the time. Betty used to serve this purpose. Betty was my pocket TN in Botanical Rose. I love Betty. But TNs and I, I mean, look, I'm not using any TNs. Like, I just have way more fun with rings. And the thing is, rings are more functional, but they also, in my opinion, allow for more creativity and deco because of the ability to punch in things anywhere you want. Um, so I have an Ollie clip. This is a cute die cut from Kitty Mint Co. because this looks like my pen pouch from Fox, I mean, not from Fox and Pip, from Foxy Fix. And then I just have dashboards. This Gen XO Plans made me those vinyls. Um, this is another Glitzy Trooper dashboard. See Amy Draw. Why is this sticking? Oh, my bad. There we go. Um, so these are the sections within my pocket rings. These were made from Type A for Alexa. They're in the opalescent hollow, which is I think looks so good with this. PVC binder and okay so the first thing is just do and it's just to-do lists oh to-do lists I have those inserts I put um, little note pages for 
I, I started jotting down post-therapy notes in here because I have this with me and I want to jot down things from therapy that I'm going to forget. I have a packing list in here. So just stuff like that. Um, and then the next section is live. And this is, uh, this is where I'm experimenting. So the most important part, oh my God, this is so annoying to hold up. Ugh. Okay, sorry. It's just going to have to be from far away. Okay, so this right now, I have this insert timed daily from Annie with the flat because I wanted to track what I spend my time doing. And then I was like, there's not enough space for that. Maybe I'll just track like when I eat and when I work out and when I sleep and when I wake up. And I've kind of given up on that too. So I'm probably just gonna like take this out after June. I don't think I'm gonna print it again for July because I just don't use it. I do however use this. This is the whole year week on one page. And I use this to jot down um, like stuff I have going on because it's a quick reference. See, like I mark big events. So I know where I need to be, if I have plans that day, all that good stuff. And I like that I can have the entire year in here. And it's not a lot of space to write. I mean, that's my finger, but it's enough that I can just jot down stuff. Cause I don't use like, I don't sticker this planner up. So that's important for that purpose. And then I have a shop tab where I have my order tracker in here. All my inserts are any plans, duh. And then I have shop coupon codes. And then I have uh, daily spending. <laughs> When is the last time I wrote in this? It's gonna be a joke. 529, yeah. I'm not good at tracking my expenses. I wanted to track them and then color code them using my mild liners because I wanna know, oops, how much I'm spending on dining out, groceries, planner stuff, clothes, beauty, all that stuff. I really need to do it, but I don't like tracking my spending because it makes me nervous because I see how much money I spend. I know, that's why you should track your spending. Anyway, in theory, that's what that's there for. And then I have a love tab. And this was where it's kind of like a catch-all, kind of like my Carolyn tabs in my other planner. I just wanted to jot things down that I see that I really love and I want to remember. Um, <laughs> the first thing I put is a mini collage of my K-pop crush. Because why not? I do love him. And then, see, I just have like... Oh my gosh, the pages in this stupid thing don't turn and I'm not gonna go through and trim them, so please don't tell me that. Um, so I just have blank note paper back here. This is a cute little tab from Cat Espresso. And that's it. Oh no, that's not it, JK. Also in my love tab is my Happy Meal section with just, this is just an address book. And it's, um, I put it in here because it's Happy Meal I wanna send to people I love. Get it? So that's in here, which is great because I always need addresses. I bought this little pouch from, it's a Filofax pocket pouch from Amazon. It is the dumbest thing ever because this thing is so obnoxiously bulbous. It doesn't lay flat. I just need to take it out right now. It's just holding paper clips, but I was just so annoyed because I spent money on it. And then I was like, why did you spend money on this? And that's it. That's it for Suki. I'm renaming Suki. I was thinking about Chloe, but I'm not even sure that Chloe works. I actually wanna do a name that starts with L. I'm gonna have to look into it. So that is Suki, my pocket rings, glorified to-do list, address, um, book, order tracker, post therapy notes, etc. This does go with me in my purse. Asics rings, Colette, Capelli Studio, um, and this is my business planner. L, ugh. L is a personal wide rings in salt, which I actually think is in stock right now. I haven't been able to say that ever. This is my ride or die, everyday daily planning, big project planning, fitness, mood, everything. This is my everything. And then Jess is my A5 study binder where I put goals, intentions, and kind of bigger picture life lesson studying. I also am gonna use this for the explore tab for 
looking into different career options because that's still on my, that's still something I'm doing right now. Um, and I've kind of finally just decided to, to say, you know what, the sky is the limit. Like you don't have to do anything you don't, you've done in the past, which I don't want to do, which is law and corporate America generally. And this is your time and opportunity to explore. And so that's what that is for. That's it, you guys. Those are my four planners. That's how I use them. I hope this was helpful. Um, Cause I get a lot of questions like, how do you use all your planners? I use them all. There's not really any crossover information in any of them. And I will say, I probably open these at least once every day. Obviously I open L multiple times and I probably open Colette most next but I wanna get better at using Suki slash whatever her name's gonna be. And just, I wanna open every day because I want to study every day. So that's it. Um, this wasn't that long actually. Well, it ain't short, but not as long as I thought it was gonna be. I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you later. Peace out.